What do you think of when you think of a goat? You think little, of the little baby ones? Little fuzzy thing, yeah. yep. You think there's some screaming goats yeah. somewhere online? Yeah, the screaming goats about online. Screaming goat. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. He's the greatest basketball of all time. I don't think anybody can can argue That's with that tough one. Tough to argue that right? one. Right? Of music. What do you think is the greatest musician? I'm music gonna have to say time? Beatles. I think we could agree with it. They're probably Beatles the greatest. Are, Beatles are up there. I think also Beach Boys. El, the King. Right? The King. The Elvis. King. When we talk about music, Utah has. Um, Utah has a goat. We have a goat. The greatest yeah. music of all time. Utah's goat. You might have found um, yourself driving in the car with this radio station that plays all of this great music that's more of an oldies genre yeah. that appeals to everybody. All of us yep. love it. Yep. And you might not be sure which one it is. Where does this radio station, where did it come from? It's Utah's Goat 99.9. This is Melanie and Frank Muller. These are the faces behind Utah's Goat. They're Usually you don't get to see the face behind the radio. You don't. You don't see the, face, radio. The, the radio faces, but here they are. I've known Melanie for a number of years, yeah. and when she told me she was getting married, she was marrying this guy that wanted to be in radio. Who wants to be in radio? I thought, what? What does this even mean? And uh, it was a dream of yours, Frank, right? It was. A dream. So talk yeah. about that. So when I was 13 years old, a friend of mine and I, we uh, would meet up every morning before school started and retell the jokes that we heard on this one radio show we both loved. And one day he came to school very excited because he had gotten uh, tickets to a live studio audience of that morning show. And so we went there and we visited the radio station and the first thing that just blew me away was the, the main host for the show, who we'd listened to for years, and he was the coolest guy, and still was the coolest guy. Uh, we walked in, and there's this guy sitting there behind the microphone, and he kind of looks like the comic book guy from The Simpsons. And, uh, he has a face for radio, Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but he opened his mouth, and there he was. That was him, you know. Uh, and then, of course, we were, were going along and watching the show, and they go to the traffic reporter, who we always knew was up in a helicopter uh -huh, looking sure. at the traffic, yeah. and he's actually sitting in a room next door, and they're playing helicopter sounds through the, the uh, tape and, at the station, and, and I'm just like, this is incredible. And so, you know, a few days later, our friends were talking, and they're like, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to be? And I, was, I immediately knew it was like, radio. That's I want to be in radio. And that was your dream from, yep. a, from, from a young kid. And here you are. Here, here you are. So, are. so where did it go? You, you, you married this guy that wants to be in radio. What has happened in the last, in the years since then? So we were here in Utah County for a little while in our younger days. And he worked for 1400 K-Star, which was a legacy station here in Utah County for a long time. And I would listen to him spin in the hymns on Sunday night. <laughs> And um, we had an opportunity to move to Las Vegas and he managed the radio station at UNLV and I eventually started working for the Nevada Broadcasters Association. So we were both involved in that kind of broadcasting and, and radio, um, radio world. And then um, about 10 or 12 years of doing that was amazing and great and we learned tons. and. We had the opportunity to purchase some radio stations, one of them being 1400 um, here in Utah County. So it was the right time, the right circumstances, and about a year and a half or so ago, we moved back up to Utah County. And, and now you own a radio station. Now we That's own so cool. a radio station, and we'll have a few more coming online as well. That's so. really cool. Yeah. So yeah. Utah's goat, how, how did you come up with the goat? Where did that come from? Well, you know, the, I remember it differently, but uh, the way I remember it, we were driving in the car, we had already kind of selected the format, which is our oldies format, and you know, in talking about our uh, list of artists that we wanted to include, um, you know, we're talking about the Beach Boys and the Beatles and the Supremes and you know, all of these amazing musicians and groups, and 60s, 70s, yeah. a little bit of 50s, you know, and, uh, and you know, I just said, you know, it's the greatest music of all time. We should call ourselves the GOAT. We are the GOAT. We're playing the greatest, greatest of all time. Of all time. Yep. That's, that has stuck with me. Yeah. At first when I heard that, I thought, what? Yeah. But then uh, it has stuck with me. Yeah. Utah's GOAT. So um, that's how, how it came to be. Yeah. And what, um, why Utah County? What, what, what makes it unique? 
You know, one of the great things about Utah County is is to really kind of come to its into its own uh, as a place. When we lived here before, um, a lot of people would commute up to Salt Lake, and so uh, there was a lot more. And there's still quite a bit, but there was a lot more traffic that was just bound for Salt Lake and then mm -hmm. they'd live in Utah County. Mm -hmm. Now, Utah County really is a place that sustains itself, yeah. right? Uh, you think about Silicon Slopes and all of the major businesses that have moved here. And um, the growth that is And the forecast. growth that's yeah, yeah. forecast. And I mean, it's been such a rapid amount of growth in a very short period of time. Um, but Utah County is a very different place compared to Salt Lake County. Mm -hmm and is unique and has a lot of wonderful, wonderful things about it that make it stand out. Yeah. And so uh, we love that and we thought to ourselves, you know, there's, there's all this great stuff going on in Utah County, but it doesn't have its own media voice. Right. Um, all of the media that covers Utah County really is coming out of Salt Lake County. Mm -hmm and it's trying to cover everything going on in Salt Lake County and everything in Utah County and everything really in kind of Weber and yeah. you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's reaching a very large group with very different people. Uh, we feel like this area can sustain and support its own media voice and should have its own media voice that really represents the people here, the happenings here, the businesses here. So it's very, very Utah centric. Yep. Very Utah centric. So what, um, so you, it's a radio station. It's more than just spinning some vinyl. Yeah, right? yeah. Spinning the hymns on Sunday right. night. Yeah, we're doing a little um, more than that. What happens to the goat? Where do you see the goat? What what's what does the future hold? So you know, we would love to be more involved in community. Um, every city, ha you know, you've got Steel Days, and you know, all of the all of the different cities have their own festivals during the summer. We would love to be a part of those. You know, be that DJ booth that's yeah. there at. At the you know community event um, at the Freedom Festival at parade. The Freedom at the, Festival, you know. exactly. Um, so you know we'd love to see some more community involvement. And one thing that we're passionate about is supporting all of our local Utah County businesses. Yes. Um, and the way we can do that is by getting your message out on the air. Yeah. And you know, I think a lot of people are intimidated. Oh, I can't afford radio. That's, yeah. you know, that's big time. If you're on the radio, that's big time. Yeah. The great thing about us focusing solely on Utah County is that we can offer rates that are a lot more reasonable than yeah, it's a different market. Salt Lake yeah. County. Yeah. Salt Lake, yeah. a different yeah. media market. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's one thing that, you know, we would love to help promote local Utah County mom and pops and you know all of those places that support this thriving Utah County economy. Right, right. so it's a great way to support local, to shop local, to listen local. Yep. And uh, another thing that you're doing uh, to invest, to reinvest into our, in our community is uh, I think it's kind of a pay it forward kind of a thing from Frank's dream and that is to give opportunities for other people interested in radio whether it's the 13 year old boy or a 20 year old college kid talk about that you want to build that exposure and opportunity as well yeah with my experience in the Nevada Broadcasters Association you know we had the opportunity to work with students the starry-eyed kids yeah. who you know loved broadcasting and were excited about that and we would love to be able to provide that same kind of opportunity a little bit closer to home yeah. um, you know for our BYU students for our UVU students who are excited about broadcasting that's great so that's definitely something that we want to be able to do in the future so what do you say to the listener that really just wants to, ta to just to listen to cool music now we need you got to have some advertisement but nobody wants to listen to straight ads so what do you say to that listener well obviously we try not to load up too much advertisement in fact you'll probably hear two or three times as much advertisements on other radio stations as you'll hear on ours um, but at the same time we've gotten the message from people who listen to our station that they recognize both that a media voice is needed here in Utah County and also that this great music really isn't available anywhere else on the dial and so they recognize that local businesses make that happen and they're just as loyal to supporting those businesses as they are to listening to our station um, because they know that you know without those businesses supporting our station 
we wouldn't be here. So it really just is supporting local. We're all yep. supporting our, our local local Utah County business. Yep. Now, right now, you're at the Utah's GOAT is at 99.9, mm -hmm. soon to... We're going to be transitioning. transitioning. Yep. Okay. We have a new uh, channel that we're going to be bringing online, 96.7. And um, that, once we get that up and running, and there's just a few things we still have to, to do to do that. Um, once we get that up and running, all of the people who've been <laughs> saying to us, I hate that I can't hear you past Point of the yeah, Mountain. Right, yep. They're gonna get a big surprise because we will be going further north. Um, and again, it's not to depart from Utah County. We love Utah County, this is our home. Um, but it's to allow our listeners to be able to listen a little further yep. and enjoy so that music a little more. County. That's, <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah. Um, and then once that uh, comes online and people have changed their presets over to 96.7, then eventually 99.9 will become another station mm -hmm. and we'll be offering a different type of music, but even more programming that's local. Uh, and then we'll also be bringing 1400 AM, which is Melanie mentioned, K-Star is a legacy station. Mm -hmm. That's where I started years and years ago, um, back online, which people who've lived here long enough know. Remember that, yep, yeah. I know that one. 1400 K-Star was, it was the place where you would hear local talk programming, you would hear great music, and they were always very involved in the community. They hosted the, for many years, the Freedom mm -hmm. Festival Parade. Mm -hmm. You could hear BYU baseball on there and so many other things. And so we really look forward to bringing a lot of that back. That's great. So let's, I uh, can't wait to see the GOAT grow. Yeah. And with all of our support, we can uh, support local businesses, including our own radio station, Absolutely. Utah's GOAT. You so can find us at utahsgoat.com. Um, you can look us up on Facebook at Utah's GOAT. And yeah, we'd love to connect with anyone. And if you have suggestions or, man, I wish I could hear, let us know. Absolutely. Here you go. Find it here local, Utah's GOAT.